Because the show had been off for quite a while, um, and because these episodes are such pun-centric... Pun-centric. This is Stephen's new coinage of the day. They're really pun-centric episodes. Um, and it felt as if it would be a treat for the audience to have a proper window into where those characters who, you know, I think that by now we've all completely fallen in love with, with that love triangle of Amy, Rory and the Doctor. And we wanted to give a sizable chunk of pond life um, before the show came back. And we got Chris Chibnall to write it, who had just written some gorgeous stuff for Rory and Amy and Rory's dad as well uh, in the episodes. And um, we just knew he'd be perfect uh, to bring that to life. And I think it's something which just teases and tees up um, the five episodes really nicely, because of course these are five really emotional stories for them. Pond life. Um, it's um, kind of everything that happens in between time travel. In the middle. I often wondered what happens in between with the companions and this is the episode where we get to see a kind of couple trying to have a domestic life. married life. But there's this guy that just keeps on popping into their lives just and taking them to space. Them alone. Um, so, and then it's also about um, dealing with normal life, having had the experiences that they've had, and how that affects one emotionally. When you watch all of the all of these little pond life uh, uh. episodes together, uh, by the end of it, there is uh, a cliffhanger, a pretty mega cliffhanger, which leads quite nicely into episode one, season seven of Doctor Who: Asylum of the Daleks. Nice. He knows.